Hello, and, thank you, for joining us, on 5 Minute, Inside Nigeria. We publish top 10 headlines that are generating massive reaction inside Nigeria daily. In 5 minutes you will get to know all the news the power brokers are talking about. They are assembled just for you, so you don't miss out on events and opportunities that are shaping Africa's biggest economy. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press on the notification bell to get access to exclusive headlines that are impacting Nigeria future. On the top 10 news headlines today November 8, 2022. Number 1. At a rise presidential town hall series, candidates lay out agendas. Kwankwaso, military personnel grossly inadequate. Obi, we will ensure prudent management of resources. Atiku, if Nigeria is working for everybody, no one will want out. Abiola, Buhari's underutilization of NSA's office escalated insecurity. Number 2. PDP demands probe as thugs shoot Atiku's supporters. One person was shot when suspected political thugs attacked the supporters of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar in Iberi in the Omuma local government area of River State. One of the victims is the coordinator of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council in Omuma LGA Namdi Nwagu. Number 3. Asuu begins NEC meeting. The Punch had earlier reported how Asuu summoned an emergency NEC meeting following the payment of half salaries to lecturers by the government. Number 4. Marketers say tough times as petrol hits 200 naira per liter. Tankers spend over one week at loading terminal. NNPC's supply drops, many filling stations empty. Scarcity may drag till festive season, operators say. Number 5. Flood. Ferma seeks 100 billion naira intervention fund for road repairs. The Federal Road Maintenance Agency, Ferma, has requested for 100 billion naira intervention fund from the federal government for the urgent repairs of roads damaged by flood across the country. Number 6. Bank customers lament illegal withdrawals, demand urgent action. Some bank customers of various banks in the country have lamented the increasing spate of illegal withdrawals from their accounts. Some of the customers who were victims of the act said this in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria in Abuja on Monday. They described the act as fraudulent which the authorities must urgently address. They also alleged that most illegal deductions in banks were being done in connivance with bank staff. Number 7. Another flood disaster imminent next year, says Nema. Demands special intervention fund to tackle current flooding. Utilize ecological funds to prevent reoccurrence, senators tell governors. Number 8. PDP crisis, to hell with a tiku, Ortom fumes. The Benue state governor, Samuel Ortom, late hours of Sunday called the bluff of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, saying, to hell with Atiku and Kwat. The governor made the statement when he hosted his colleagues from Rivers, Oyo, Abia and Anugu states to a dinner party held at the government house, Makurdi. Number 9. IMF outlines priority areas to boost Africa's economic growth. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has outlined four priority areas of focus for policymakers in Nigeria and other countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, SSA, to boost economic growth in the medium to long term in the face of the worsening global crisis and declining growth projections. And lastly, number 10, 2023, Mieti Ala, rice farmers endorsed Tanubu. Northern farmers and pastoralists of Fulani extraction on Monday pledged their support for the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, ASI Waju Bola Tanubu, at a town hall meeting in Minna the Niger state capital. This is even as the APC candidate promised to undertake reforms in the farming, fishing and livestock sector that will make the industry competitive. Now let's look out other news headlines that are worth mentioning. 11. Rivers community boils as cultists kill 8. 12. Gunmen attack soldiers in Emo community. 13. 54-year-old man sets five stepchildren ablaze in Ondo. 14. Telcos, banks to collect VAT on taxable supplies. 15. Stock investors lose 3 trillion naira in 3 months. 16. Soldiers kill bandit kingpin, another in Zamfara. 17. By Elsa flood impacted 1 million persons, 96 die says Sema. 18. Dongote cement launches recycling program. 19. Lai Muhammad slams PDP, lists Buhari, APC achievements. 20. Why presidential candidates campaign promises will fail Okodia. To read the full stories, please visit punching.com and thisdaylive.com. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to receive daily news headlines that are generating reactions in Nigeria. Stay safe, bye-bye.